In this modern day, teenage pregnancy is becoming the new normal among teenagers. Let us find out why. Every one of us somehow knows someone from their family, friends, or a neighborhood, a teenage girl who got pregnant, or a teenage boy who got a girl pregnant. But I tell you, behind these flowery words or heavenly feelings is the question that most of us are afraid to answer. Are we really are ready for this? Why we are fancy with the idea of babies is the reality of the responsibilities that lies with it. Younger females are getting pregnant at the age of 17, 16, 15, or even younger. It is the trend that we're not able to stop. This generation is getting used to being accepting of the fact that we do not have control this scenario. So we just have to live with it, go with it. What we forgot to do is to create solution that would make effect not just to teenagers but the elderly too. Half of the Philippines population belong to the adolescents girls 10 to 19 years old. Sex education refers a formal of instruction on a wide range of issues relating to human sexuality including human sexual anatomy, sexual reproduction, sexual intercourse, reproductive health, emotional relations, reproductive rights and responsibilities, abstinence, contraception, and other aspects of human sexual behavior. Many parents have found when their child participates in school-based sexuality education, talking about sex-related issues, increases between them and their child. Teenage mothers face a lot of challenges after pregnancy, like providing proper care and needs of their child. And also, family problems are uncontrolled emotions caused pregnancy among teenagers. Many young people become young mothers, especially when the pandemic began. I don't know why this seems normal to them and they don't think about what the end of what they do did will be. Because they also know that their family is just there to guide them, not knowing that it is too hard. They work primarily because of the spreading virus. We should not normalize teenage pregnancy, but because that is what happened because they want to have unprotected sex. They are the ones who have to deal with the problem and hardship of being young mother. All I could say about teenage pregnancy it is getting more and more widespread within the youths. It's just proof that today's generation lacks sexual education, future insight, and family planning. We need to educate the teenage boy of the consequence of their action. We have to make impact and set an example to influence them. Because I believe that it's more important to teach the young boys what they should do to control or manage their needs. Also to educate them the responsibilities that comes with it. Let us not also forget that some of these teenagers are pregnant because they got raped. Of these things happen out of their will. We all know that every boy can get multiple girls pregnant once or twice only in a year, give birth by January and get pregnant by November or December. By this, we have to give a little spotlight for the boys and let them know that being responsible and educate with sex should be a major part of their life. So next, you find yourself in a situation similar to this. Just remember, don't be silly, wrap your willy. Young love is sweet, full of love and harmony. Everyone loves to be loved. We love the feeling it makes us like being drunk or being full with the most delicious food we've made.